Over here I've got two audio interfaces and they're fairly popular brands. Now the question is should you use the balanced or unbalanced cables to wire it to the active speaker? So here I have an active speaker and I'm going to show you the difference between using a balanced and an unbalanced cable and what happens. Now on the back of the audio interface this is where I'm going to plug in my speakers. Notice that I've got monitor A and monitor B. So it means I've got two sets of speakers. So I've got a left and a right but at the bottom there it says balanced or unbalanced. So that means I can use a balanced cable or an unbalanced cable and I'm going to show you what happens when I use a balanced cable versus an unbalanced cable. All right, so the first cable I'm going to plug in is an unbalanced cable. Now, usually the cable that has this connector, it's called an XLR, is usually balanced. But I'm specifically showing you this one because in this case, it's actually unbalanced. And you might notice there are three pins in there. But if we look at the other side, we can see that there's something wrong here. What is wrong is that there's only signal, which is the tip, and then look at this, this is one piece. It's just the ground connector here. So it's actually just two wires, signal, ground. Whereas on this side, notice there are three wires. So that means that they've taken what would have been a balanced connector and on the other side, it's been terminated or wired as an unbalanced connector. So that makes this cable unbalanced. And this is why I'm showing it because some people get confused because they see this and they think, oh, it's balanced. But this is actually the same as this cable. You're probably familiar with this, which is a jack to RCA. Notice that the RCA has signal, ground and then on the jack signal ground so actually these are just two wires and this is what makes it unbalanced all right so looking at the xlr there are three pins if we open it up there's pin one which is the ground this is the positive signal wire and this is the negative signal wire but actually this is just one channel here we have the jack it's tip and then the ground and then this is the signal wire the red wire and notice that that goes to the tip now there is the ground which is this wire over here you might even see the foil is connected here which is this whole piece over here but looking really closely, you will see this white wire here. And on the other side, there is the white wire which is connected to the XLR. Note that that wire is just shorted onto the ground. So it becomes just an unbalanced cable because it's signal and ground. If it was balanced, it would be three wire to three wire for a single channel. And just having a look at the RCA while we're here, it is just two wires. The signal wire there, which is the tip, and then the chassis wire over here, which is this part of the connector. So I'm going to connect this and I'm going to show you what happens when there's a noise on the earth or on the ground wire or even on the signal wire. So I'm just plugging it in at the back here. These are balanced or unbalanced depending on what you plug in. Since I plugged in an unbalanced cable, it's not going to work as an unbalanced connection. Now on this speaker, it gives me RCA input, jack or XLR. So I'm going to use the RCA, I'm going to plug it in there. Right, so it is an unbalanced wiring setup here. I'm just going to plug in the power. So the unit is now on and I'm going to take the microphone and I'm going to put it next to the speaker and I can already hear some noise coming through. I wonder if you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my computer to work really hard. I'm going to activate my webcam and I'm going to put a virtual background on and now I'm going to put what's called a key light. So don't worry what this is. Basically it's really stressing the computer because check at this. Look at the GPU, it's running at 99%, so it's really stressing the computer. So that means that the computer is now drawing quite a bit of electricity. Right, now let's visit our friend here. Listen to that noise coming through at the speaker there. If you're thinking that that noise coming through is because this volume is very high, it's not that, because this is actually on mute. Look, I'll release the mute and I'll increase the volume. So the music is actually on mute and even if I turn this all the way down, the lights are there at the minus 36. The noise from the computer is still there and where's it coming from? Unfortunately, it's coming here through the cable and even if you plug this into a different port on your computer, it's still gonna make this noise. You might have a little bit of an improvement. You can get an isolator which will improve it as well, but let's just do the easiest option and let's swap this for a balanced cable. I'm gonna leave the computer, it's still running at maximum and the only thing I'm gonna do is swap the cable. So I'm gonna unplug this. This is what a balanced cable usually looks like. It's called an XLR. There on the left hand side we've got the male and there on the right hand side we've got the female. Now this is actually a single channel. So this is the common cable and you'll often see it for microphone inputs. So for example, I'm plugging in the microphone there and it goes to the back, the input of this audio interface. However, these are not XLR. These are different to these. And this is the cable I'm going to plug in. Notice that on the one side, 
it's still the same in XLR. Look, there's the three pins. But look at the other side. It is different now. It has got the tip, another ring, and then the ground. So it is hot, positive signal. This is the phase shifted signal, and then the ground. This might look like a stereo connector, but it's not. This is still for one channel. So what's happening here is the pin one, which is on the far left here, is the ground. Then two and three are actually the signal wires, but they are phase shifted by 180 degrees to reject any noise. So pin two and three together make up one signal wire. Therefore, on this side, we've got signal positive, signal negative, and then the chassis. So now I'm gonna plug this in and show you the difference. All right, now I turn on the speaker. All right, now I put the microphone here and here, and there's no sound. You might think that I've switched off the computer, but the computer's still working at 100%. I'm still doing heavy graphics processing. Check that, almost 100%. And if I make this a bit louder. And when I mute it, there's almost no sound whatsoever. The only change I did was the cable. And just in case you think it's just the audio interface, I'm gonna bring a different one. Right, so that is the balance cable. Computer's still at maximum. The graphics card's still pumping there. I'm gonna swap this for an unbalanced cable on a different audio interface. And there the noises come back. And just to show you, I press the mute, doesn't make a difference. I switch the speakers off, it doesn't make a difference. It's coming through probably on the ground wire because I've disconnected the speakers. Look, speakers on, off, doesn't make a difference. That noise is still there. Volume at the minimum, doesn't make a difference. It's the cable. And just to show you, these are two different USB cables. On the first audio interface, I was using USB-C connected to a different port. And on the second audio interface, it's plugged into a USB-B port and it still has that noise. So in summary, we can have an XLR to a 6.3 millimeter jack, and this would be a single balanced cable. We can also have a 6.3 millimeter jack to another 6.3 millimeter jack, and that is a single channel balanced cable. That means for left and right, you would need two of these cables. This, on the other hand, is a single channel unbalanced cable. Thanks for watching, and cheers.